Hi, hope you guys are all doing fantastic. In this video, we'll have a detailed analysis of cutoffs and how the trend has been over the past five years. In one of the previous shorted formats, we have discussed about the general category cutoff. And in this video, we'll take this as an opportunity to discuss cutoffs uh, for students from different categories, not just from gender, but also students from SC, ST, OBC categories, as well as students from PWD categories. As you know, there is a variation in the cutoff percentiles for various categories. For general category students, it is 50th percentile. For students with reservations such as SC, ST, or OBC, it is 40th percentile. Whereas for students unreserved who fall under PWD, their cutoff is 45th percent. So every year, cutoff is released, catering to the needs of these three category students. And after a couple of months, once the cutoff is released, almost every year, almost every year, the cutoff is being revised again in order to fill up the seats. And that we're calling it as revised cutoff. And the revised cutoff can fall anywhere in the range of 18th percentile to 26th percentile, depending upon the availability of seats and other criteria. Still, we we'll look into how the trend has been over the past five years so that you'll we'll have an idea like how much you should score in order to qualify in need and years. And before we get into the stats, I just wanted to clarify once and for all the difference between percentage and percentile. I'm sure some of you are aware of it, but those are not. In simple terms, let's suppose I'm conducting a test now and the maximum score is 100. And if I put a criteria stating those who score 50 percentage are going to qualify in the test, which means no matter how many students take up this test, if you score 50 marks out of 100, it literally means that you qualify in this particular test. So that is qualification based on percentage criteria. Then what about percentile criteria? Let's suppose I'm conducting another test. And if I say the qualifying criteria is 50th percentile, it means, let's suppose 100 students are taking up this test. And among 100 students, for you to qualify in this test, you should be in top 50. That's what percentile means, 50th percentile means. So in simple terms, percentile tells you your position related to others in competitive exam. So first and foremost, we'll go through some graphs, some colorful graphs, and then we'll get into the tables with detailed analysis of the ranges of cutoff scores for the past five years for various category students. So as you can see, first and foremost, this represents the cutoff, including revised cutoff scores for general category students over the past seven years, starting from 2018 till the latest 2024. Now, if you go into other graphs which are created, so again, as you can see, uh, this is cutoff scores for various category students. Dark blue represents general category students. The green represents students from SCST and OBC. And the yellow represents students from UR PWD category. Unreserved, person with disability category. So you can see how the cutoff trend has been over the past five years, starting from 2020 till 2024. Now, if you're looking at revised cutoff scores for various category students, right? So these are some graphs giving an idea like how the variations have been over the past few years or five years. Now, if you look into this table, this gives you a detailed picture of how the cutoff scores have been over the past five years for various category students. So starting from 2020 till 2024, if you look in the cutoff first, as I said, for general category students, it is 50th percentile, right? And it is hovering in the range of 286 for general category students, right? And for students belonging to SC, ST, or OBC category students, it is 40th percentile as we discussed previously, and it is ranging. The scores are in the range of 227 to 250. And for UR PWD category students, it is 45th percentile, and the scores are in the range of 243 to 268 over the past five years. 
And now, when you look into revised cutoff, as I said a couple of times previously, there is no standardization like to what extent they'll be reducing the percentile. And it varies from 18th percentile to 26th percentile over the past five years. So for general category students, let's focus on the ranges as we have been doing now. It is in the range of 1 to 20 over the past five years. Whereas for students from SCS to OBC category, it is in the range of 125 to 188. Whereas students from URPWD category, it is in the range of 149 to 204. So this, in a way, gives you an idea like how much you should aim for in order to qualify neat MDS. Hardly you should get some 60 or 70 questions right without losing much marks in, uh, in the form of negative marking. Right. So. I hope this information is helpful and for any further queries or for any further assistance, you can always reach out to us through mail at proudtobillionbistabgmail.com 24 by 7. So wish you all the best. Love you all.